Lego is making the UCS tie advance in 2023. Hey guys, it's the Lego Chooser here, and today we're basically gonna cover up all the 2023 rumors that Promo Bricks gave us last week with this huge list. And as you can see, this list is for January to May of 2023, and it's just the beginning of the year. Again, we do not have specific dates for all of these sets because I mean, it's in a huge time lapse all the way since January to May, and some will be releasing in January, some in May, and some even in March. So we're just going to cover up all the things we know for now. Moving on with the first rumor, a Star Wars breakheads, and yeah, we just do not have anything on this. I'm just going to rumor all of this up because we have no idea. A rumor someone told me is that it's going to be a $40 set. And basically what came to mind is like the Hogwarts teachers that it includes four breakheads. But if it's not that, I'm assuming it's going to be a very popular character. Like someone from the Bad Batch like Hunter, Omega, or someone really popular. I mean, I just don't believe that it's going to be a $40 one. But again, it's still up to date because we have no further information about this. Moving on with the next one, and of course, it's going to be a Slave 1 Microfighter. I am not expecting much from this set. Of course, it's only going to come with Boba Fett. I'm expecting the newer Boba Fett, not the classic Boba Fett. But yeah, the build is going to be pretty simple. I have no idea how this is going to look. Lego made one for Comic-Con about 10 years ago. But again, we just have to wait and see what this looks like. Moving on, the first battle pack of the year. Yeah, guys, the first battle pack of the year is going to be a 501st battle pack. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. I expect the build to be like a terrain and a speeder, like the Hoth Assault. Of course, it's not going to be based on Hoth. I expect a Clone Wars planet. I have no idea which one they're going to use. And they're all going to be 501st Troopers, a Sniper Trooper. I just got this from Battlefront, and wow, this in Lego form will look amazing. The Heavy Troopers, dang, this is a custom version, but it will look spectacular. And the Clone Commander, again, it's not going to be Rex, but it's going to be a very cool minifigure. Moving on to the two rumored Mandalorian Season 3 sets. One priced at $34 and one priced at $100. But we have absolutely no idea what this are. If we could see what the show is and just basically get the plot out of it, we can maybe speculate. But right now, with me not seeing Season 3 because it's coming out next year, we have absolutely no idea about what these sets are. So we're just going to move on. Moving on is the TIE Bomber, and wow, I am astonished from this set because the last time we saw it was all the way in 2003, and wow, yeah, sorry to say three guys, I just say that sometimes, and yeah, this set is just so bad that it has been over almost 20 years since we got this set, and yeah, it's gonna be a 20 year difference. And the figs, in, in my opinion, are just really disappointing. I mean, Gonk Droid, the TIE Pilot Invader. Again, I just really was expecting something exclusive and different. Because, I mean, Vader just won't fit in the scheme of this set. The Gonk Droid as well. I just don't see it. Only the TIE Pilot. But again, I'm also interested in seeing the sense of scale of this set with the price increase. Because I think it won't be as small as the $45 TIE Fighter. Guess we'll just have to wait and see for ourselves. Moving on to one of the most exciting ones, and it's the Captain Rex and Cody helmets. And wow, Cody's going to be phase one for what I think. And especially, not only my opinion, but I saw it from other leakers, that if Cody is going to be a phase one and Rex is going to be a phase two, I have absolutely no idea why they didn't make both in phase two, since they'll match up together nicely and better than with the current rumor. But these are just custom versions, and as you can see, with LEGO making one of these, it could look absolutely amazing. It can be the highlight of the beginning of 2023. Moving on to our first diorama, and it's going to be the Ender Speeder Chase Diorama. Again, I think the minifigures will be Leia, Luke, and maybe two Scout Troopers. And as you can see, it just fits with the scene. And there's a small mock I found on the internet, and it doesn't look that bad. I think that the diorama could look absolutely amazing, and really just show you what episode 6 is since Endor is the main planet. Moving on to our second and last diorama, it's going to be the Death Star Throne Room. And wow, if the playset one was cool, I expect this one to be absolutely stunning. And over here I found a mock, and this is what I expect it to look like. And even the quote is so, so good, guys. You failed, your highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me, 
and wow, this can be amazing. Of course, I expect it to be a bit bigger and having the five minifigs. Of course, I think it's gonna be two more Royal Guards, but I think it's gonna be more flushed out. But again, it just looks so, so good that I am really waiting to see what this set looks like. Moving on to our last set, and the one we just really don't have anything with, is a May 4th UCS and a May 4th promo. Again, we have no idea, but if I am, or I were to speculate, I'd say it's one of these three UCS sets that we've seen in the past. It's been a couple of, of years, whoa! It's been almost 20 years since we saw the UCS TIE Interceptor, it's been 15 years since, since we saw the UCS TIE Advanced, and it's been more than 10 uses we saw the B-Wing. And again, I just don't think it's going to be the TIE Bomber because one reason, and that is because we're going to see it in play scale. So I don't think that LEGO will release a UCS set. And wow, this price point is amazing, guys. I always have loved the $200 UCS price point, but now it's $240. But I am just really not convinced that this set is going to be something new and it's going to be something we've already seen. But that's just me. I hope you like the video, guys.